attention. The Fawley Challenge Cup about to get underway here between Pangborn College on the left hand side of your picture on the Berkshire Station and Marlow Rowing Club A on the right hand side of your picture and uh, two local clubs here from opposite ends of the river camp. We've got that, two clubs uh, but one crew is going very close to the island at the moment so Marlow have got to adjust their steering. They're going to clip some boys and that is going to cost them a little bit. It's going to keep that adrenaline pumping and they're going to have to make sure they get lined up now. What happens is you often oversteer. If you go if you go wrong in one direction, it can mean then you oversteer back and that's what's happened. Now they're more or less back on station, but of course they've given a little bit of space now to Pangborn, who have said thank you very much and got out very cleanly. Actually didn't get affected. Often one crew will affect the other steering as well. And now I have to see, can Marlow get back on terms? Well, we knew that this could be quite a close race. Pete Chambers of the Marlow Rowing Club crew, the coach, uh, said that, you know, on paper they were top at the national schools out of these two crews, but Pangborn, perhaps having had made some improvements, um, will have jumped on that opportunity, the smallest opportunity to try and do something. They'll know they've got a chance now, Cam. Oh, have, they've had a really smooth start. That's been a real confidence boost. And of course, you've lost a bit of energy in the Marlow crew. However, the Marlow crew will feel right. We've got to get back in our rhythm, focus in, and you can see them creeping back. Very powerful strokes. They're both very young crews, 16 and 17 years old. The oldest one is the stroke of Pangborn, 18 years old. So I know that Pangborn see this as very much, uh, three of them are back next year. And so they are building to, to create, you know, something that, that will continue into next year's competition. Um, we can see the Marlow Club coached by Pete Chambers, who are absolutely powering back gradually. They've done it stroke by stroke. Yeah, and just look, that's paid off massively, Cap. That sort of very patient and gradual sort of chipping back at Pangborn after that wobbly start um, that's paid back in spades as they come through the enclosures. They'll be thrilled at Marlow Rowing Club, got their biggest ever entry, and I know this is one of their crews they're really excited about. Very young, but lots of talent come out of their growing junior learn to row program at the club uh, that they've been growing over the years to increase the junior squad. Well, it will be Marlow Rowing Club. Uh, today in this uh, Fawley Challenge Cup. Pangborn, a school with so much history here at Henley Royal Regatta, one of the few uh, crews that have won the Princess Elizabeth Challenge Cup for the student uh, for the schoolboy eights multiple times. And they've actually been celebrating that. They had a Legends dinner last night celebrating their victories. It's the 20th anniversary since they last won, the 60th anniversary since they first won. They had crews all over the world supporting Pangborn College Boat Club, a very traditional local club with a great history at this event. But for them, the Fawley Challenge uh, ends today.